Shoulder pain and shoulder injury is really common among overhead athletes. Why does it occur and how can we prevent it? The shoulder, anatomically speaking, is an inherently unstable joint. This is because it's a ball and socket joint, much like the hip, but it lacks the protection that all the ligaments around the hip. So being such, an, such a shallow ball and socket joint, it relies on muscles to actively stabilize the joint. In particular, there are four small muscles that together make up the rotator cuff. These rotator cuff muscles need to cooperate effectively and work at their optimal length to fixate the head of the humerus in to the glenoid fossa. When these four smaller muscles co-contract, they bring the head of the humerus into the fossa. And what that does is it sta actively stabilizes the joint during movement. Here are a few exercises you can do to encourage co-contractions of the four rotator cuff muscles using an unstable load.